Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this session of Scoop School. My name's Steve Christensen. I am the self-appointed headmaster, best-selling author, and the ice cream bloke. How many titles can one man have? I can tell you a few more that people call me. Anyway, thank you to this uh, session. We do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is Classic Mix. Classic Mix Partners, technically, based out of uh, Nina, Wisconsin. Uh, you got the Galloway family. You got Tank there, which wants to be one of the Galloway boys. They make uh, ice cream mixes, HTST, fresh mixes, ice cream mix, gelato mix, sorbet mix, soft serve mix. Great product. Talk to them. Well, you don't really need to talk to them. The link's down below. You can just click on that link and have a look at all of the offerings they have. Talk to Hank. He can answer a lot of questions for you. But most of all, we do want to thank them for their episode sponsorship. So we're going to talk a little bit about what toppings or what add-ins to have in your store. This is a question we get every single Scoop School class. How many toppings should I have? How many should I offer? What should I rotate in? It's really hard to kind of narrow that down. These are menu boards from our original store here in St. Louis. If you've been following the uh, videos, we're actually building a store next door here. Currently, it'll be Cherry Hills Creamery. Hmm, more on that later. But when you open, you wanna kind of have as much variety as you, as you can, uh, but you can go over the top of some of these toppings. So we used to call them add-ins with a physical particular that you could actually put into ice cream and then toppings was more of a liquid topping. So let me go over some of the ones that actually worked well for us and some of the ones that I wish we hadn't put on the menu board uh, and that we should have rotated in maybe as a topping of the week. Because remember we talk about this all the time, you don't have to fill your core menu with a whole bunch of toppings. You can narrow that down and actually just rotate in specialty toppings each week, which gives people more of a reason to come back, a little bit more variety to what you're doing, um, particularly when it comes to those seasonal flavors. So anyway, let's, let's start with the add-ins. So strawberries, always very popular for shakes, for toppings, for banana splits. You really should do strawberries. Bananas, yes, although they obviously don't need to be cut up. They're not refrigerated. They're sitting uh, in a banana holder somewhere, as you would say, banana. Blueberries and raspberries. Now, um, we found that blueberries actually uh, were able to maintain sales rather than raspberries. Raspberries are very acidic, they go off very quickly. So if you've got blueberries and raspberries in your uh, one-sixth Cambro, in your uh, refrigerator prep table, you really wanna make sure that you're kind of checking the rotation of them because they never ever sold as good as the strawberries. Pineapple, I'm gonna throw a few ants in here. Pineapple, again, that was would be something that you would rotate in with its national um, pineapple week. Uh, but that never really sold very well. Coconut, <clears throat> cherry, and what I mean by cherry, I'm talking about like a crushed cherry topping. <clears throat> peach, the lovely peach. <clears throat> All of these we thought would be big sellers. Now obviously it depends on where you are in the country. If you're in a more tropical climate, then they may work very well. But don't feel as though you have to have all of these on the menu at any given time, particularly with a lot of these here that need refrigeration. You really wanna check the rotation. So out of this list, I would definitely do strawberry, definitely banana, more than likely blueberry. Uh, but the rest of this I would probably utilize as a, a rotate in, rotate out. So far as candies are concerned, Heath, yes, everyone loves Heath bar. M&Ms, yes, although do the mini M&Ms or do crushed M&Ms. Large M&Ms in ice cream will crack a crown. Butterfinger works well, although you should keep them in the wrappers. I would buy the minis. Uh, because they do get very tacky um, under refrigeration circumstances. Peanut butter cups, absolutely. Chocolate pretzels, eh. Oreos, big thumbs up. Probably the biggest selling uh, topping or particular in ice cream shops are Oreos. Snickers, I'm half and half with Snickers. I definitely would buy them from someone like TR Toppers where they're already cut up. Cookie dough, absolutely challenge with cookie dough is it must be frozen it must stay frozen and you really want to make sure it doesn't have any egg yolk in them it must be safe 
for non-cooked consumption. Chocolate chips, yes. Gummy bears, mm, on the fence there, depends on where you are. But again, you, want, you do not want to keep them refrigerated. They can just stay in a container and scoop them on. Granola. Mm. Although, we, the reason why we had it on here was that uh, we had frozen yogurt, and some people like that kind of frozen yogurt and granola feel. Pecans, absolutely. Cashews on the fence of. Cashews don't hold very well. They're a very fleshy nut. Um, so I would probably use cashews and rotate them in if I were you. Your nut topping you definitely use in uh, your Sunday toppings and so forth. So yes, macadamias. <coughs> now I say <coughs> because I'm a big fan of macadamias, probably one of my most um, favorite nuts to eat. However, uh, they don't rotate very, th very thoroughly and they are very fleshy as well, so they absorb moisture. So I don't know whether I would always have macadamias in, definitely rotate them in for you know, different events and different products. And then almonds, absolutely. People love almonds, whether it's slivered or crushed almonds. So that's kind of the add-in process. As far as toppings are concerned, chocolate and caramel fudge, pretty well a standard. Um, hard shell, I really like hard shell. I like it both for dipping ice creams in I also like it for actually putting into ice cream. So I would say yes on the hard shell. On the fence with the butterscotch and the marshmallow, I definitely probably wouldn't use a whole number 10 can with a fudge pump, uh, but you can get an insert into your fudge pumps where you can put squeeze bottles in. And you may wanna keep the butterscotch and marshmallow in a squeeze bottle, just kind of see how they go. You'll see that the menus that we had and the menus that we liked were a printed digital menu on a foam core board, which meant that it's very hard to change. So for us, this was our initial menu. The next review of the menu, we actually took a lot of these things off and then rotated them on seasonally or as a limited time offer. I hope that helps. It is a quandary of what to choose and what not to. And you know that as soon as you open up, someone's gonna say, hmm, you don't have any avocado topping? Oh, do I get avocado topping in? Don't be swayed by the one or two people that want a particular topping or you may wanna, again, rotate it through as a topping of the week, flavor of the week, see if it gets any traction, get some limited time offer action going, see if that works. Don't pepper your core menu with a whole bunch of stuff. Again, rotate it in, see how it goes. I think you'll do better that way. Again, thanks to the folks at Classic Mix for sponsoring this episode. And look, if you have any questions like this, like this, like, like this, like this, like that, we would love to answer them for you. Drop us a line, info at scoopschool.com. Very easily, just leave a comment down below. You can say, hey, great video, Steve. Two thumbs up, smiley emoji. Ding. Or you can say, hmm, didn't like that one, Steve. Or you can just leave a comment. We love reading them. That's all we have for this video. Keep on scooping. We'll see you in the next video. Uh.